let me explain to you who hasn't run a business and hasn't made business decisions how this works. You look at the cost of the machine and you look at the cost of labor and you do a little analysis and I wish we could have whiteboards here because I could show you how one would work. We'd say, okay, the machine costs this much. This is how much I'm going to pay in interest. This is my overall cost or I can pay X amount of dollars in labor for it. Right. It's a math decision. And let me tell you, places like McDonald's and Amazon, like you see on TV, are going to be able to have the high-tech stuff. They're just going to replace people, no big deal. You know who isn't? The little Mikey's hot dog stand, the little Joe's market. Um, what, what do you say to the little fulfillment people that sell stuff on the internet? And they've got some, they're working out of their garage, or they're working out of some, some small warehouse in Southern Illinois or Central Illinois. You know what they're going to do? Just going to walk across the border. If you think Cairo, Illinois can afford it, is going to have any economic growth on a $15 an hour minimum wage, you have absolutely no idea what businesses do. And they are fleeing this state. And all we do in this chamber for the last two and a half years that I've been here is dump on businesses. Businesses is another word for job creator. Mm -hmm. We will lose jobs because of, it, because of this. I mean, this isn't a situation where we're Silicon Valley and everybody's dying to come here. We have a net out migration right now to the bill. Absolutely misguided bill. There's simple mathematic equations on this stuff. Businesses make those decisions based on that simple math. We will lose jobs because of this. Thank you.